Hello, it's your son, you know, we're breaking all the news tonight. We're going to have a blast tonight. Um, this will be in the 2012, the 2011 one of Bang. I told you, you were on a radio show, Tins of Chop, and basically, it was controversy because Jack said something about London, Miss Barbie. No, it was basically, um, it was actually more to actually the story, but it was more to like the way you really feel about, about the whole... Who was the show, London? No, it was actually my other channel in Zerion. Okay. So, um, Bush we played. What happened with that? Um, basically, that situation, there was a ball that happened in Pittsburgh or whatever, and my child had came out for um, Bush we played. And I guess, I don't know if it was doing when my child was walking or after my child had won the carnival. Um, my ex-mother, Jack, was riding me, stating basically, um, basically, call your mother, the bullet to call your mother. Basically, to me, it was more like, he was trying to, like, he was trying to make a kiki out of it, which he really wasn't, but it was to me, it was because it was more disrespect because um, my mom has always been a father to my kids. I've never been a mother to my kids. So well, do you think? Like, but do you think it was a key? Key? Like I told you, like it probably wasn't, it wasn't that serious. Well, you took it it was. It wasn't that serious to me, but it was more like it was more to the story why he had to keep me out of the house and drive. Okay. And it was more. But well, why did you get put out? Um, it was more because he felt like ever since the whole couture thing, like people leaving the house and me hanging out, you know, with Kelly and hanging out. Lay on me and basically not really being a bit like that with the house and just writing like I usually was before. You know, we always participating with the house and doing everything with the house. But it's like I was in the house and writing like for almost eight years. You know what I'm saying? I've seen the house rotate. I've seen many people leave the house, and I was been the type of person that I was been going to my house. I always hang out with people in my house. I'm never trying to be like an outsider or trying to be like with the it girls or whatever. How they you know how they call it? I've never been the type of person. I always was a person that. Stuck by my people, saying because I know I felt like those folks, those my my friends. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when it came out to me having to hang out with Kelly and everybody else, he took it more like he felt like I was about to leave the house and stuff like that. But it's like again, just because they leave the house doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that I was going to leave the house and fly. Because you know, at the end of the day, when a person leaves the house, you know that's not gonna stop you from being big friends. You know what I'm saying? And that was something that I feel like we, you know, we have talked about stuff like that. So for him to keep me out the house and fly me. You know, it was a situation where I feel like it could went by a whole different way because of a comment that I actually put on his Facebook status of basically, I made a comment saying, telling him that how he's going to, um, what he did on Saturday after going to Pittsburgh, I think it was wrong for him to like call me or you know, call me, um, me mother and stuff like that. I don't know, you know that I was always a father to my kids. You know what I'm saying? Did you, was you embarrassed with the comment that he made? No, I was not embarrassed, but like I said, it was more to like why he really take me out and I feel like it was no reason for him to take me out because of the way he was kind of feeling about me being in the house, you know what I'm saying? Would he you was, ever be a majority again? No, I would not. And the reason why is because I feel like it was so much that was said in his in his Facebook statuses, it was always a different status about me. You know what I'm saying? Like basically, you know, not gonna get into the whole detail, but it was a lot of disrespectful stuff that was being said in there that I feel like I never took it that far, you know what I'm saying? As far as me the things that I used to do for the house in this ride, you know what I'm saying? Everything that I've done for the house, as far as me doing things and stuff like that, making sure that everything was good when we had events, and, you know, everything that just right on my heart. It was never a situation where I never wanted to talk about what I did for the house because, like I said, I did it because I wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever... Everybody wants to know the question. Everybody wants to know. Are you going to the house Um, yes, I'm going to go to the house for tour. Uh, breaking it, this is the first time breaking it. Because I feel like, I, um, not because they feel like I was going to go eventually because it was never the case. I feel like I was going to always be a Miss Riley because, you know, that was Jack was the person who brought me to the house of Miss Riley. So now one time I ever wanted to ever leave the house because I feel like this is where I belong and this is my family and this is where I've been. And all I know is Miss Riley. All I know is Miss Riley. You know what I'm saying? So me going to the house of the tour, you know, at the end of the day, those are people who I was affiliated with. Right, so I'm gonna keep it in the amount of circle where I used to be. You know what I'm saying? What would you say to Alfred Miss right here right now? That um, it's no shit against the house Miss right here at all. You know, I love the house Miss right here. Like I said again, if that's if that, if that, if that situation never happened, I feel like I would still be in the Miss right because, like I said, just because my friends left the house for me, I was my intention never was to leave the house. You know, it's you know, it's it's, it's it wasn't gonna be that. You know? Anything, anything in your your pictures tonight? I told you, I'm breaking into school to the. Into a tantra couture, breaking um, news. No, this really not much. You know, I, um, at the end of the day, you know, 
I'm me. I always provide for myself. I always do me. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm always gonna be me. I'm never gonna let nobody stop my show because I've never been that type of person. I always succeed. I always try to succeed in every type of way. So I will never let nobody try to bring me down. All you can do is just learn from the situation to you know better yourself and stuff like that. And I feel like if a person can read you and say all these different things about you after y'all been friends for so long, I feel like they was never your friends in the beginning because why friend would you know basically read you and you know say all these things about you, especially when I brought you into my family. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Things that I never really have done with other people. I brought you into my life. You have you know you have traveled with me, my family. You know, we have done many things together. He has done for me, and I have done for him. And then we was all out of love. So I never wanted to, I don't want nobody to think that I'm here trying to bring Jack down or everything, because it's not about, I'm all about keeping it real, but the way everything happened and went, I really think it was a situation that could have went a whole different way by him being a mother, being a mentor to everybody, like, you know, everybody feels like he is. I feel like he could have been a bigger person and could have approached me in a whole different way and said, him to take me out of the house of Rahi. On the, on the Miss Rodney group, and then you go on my page, read me on my page, and tell me, tell me that um, if I want respect now, I have to earn it now. Like you know, all you saying, all these different things. Like, and I feel like all that was on call for. I think should be like the mother that you say you are. Just come to me and speak to me as a child, because the same way I felt when I went to your page and approached you, as in a day, I, I feel like you should, you should have done the same to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I want. And I'm sorry that things went the way they went, but that's the way he chose it. And I wish him the best in life, and I don't wish him nothing because I don't wish nothing upon nobody because I would never want nobody to do that to me. But, right. you know, I will be on the wrong way very soon, and I will never let nobody stop my show, and I wish everybody the best. Thank you so much for time. Thank you. Do you have that green card account, Jay? Because I took about that, too. Yeah, they were talking about the whole green card thing because, yes. <laughs> you I'm, was locked before, right? I was locked before because of crap and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, Bitch, I'm not the last fucking person that's been locked, bitch. There's been many people that has gotten locked and that has got sent back to their country, but I'm just so happy to be one of those bitches that I was lucky and I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere, and yeah, bitch, like, bitch, I will be here. We I love America. America loves me, and I'm not going anywhere. You heard it first from Tantra, Couture.